These children are in art class right now. Sculptor and Pathfinder Art Camp co-teacher Nini Bakstrom believes art lessons like today's teach children not just art skills, but life skills. Uh, because you learn so many things, like you learn how to deal with frustration, you learn, you know, to be brave, to experiment, you learn how to deal with failure. There's so many things you learn, like how to, maybe like in this case, you work as a group, so you have to learn how to communicate with each other, how to do something. Oh, well, that's a great idea. I love that. What did you do with that? Well, Mason, we had leftover blackberries from when we were robbing the rocks and stuff. And so she started covering her hand in it. And I got the idea of since it's red and this is green, we could find a really big leaf and she could put a handprint on it. Because both Anna and I, who at least the camp, we were both artists, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit different than maybe if you're a teacher, the way we set it up, because we both work from the process in our own work. So we bring in that process the way we teach, too, which is basically more about exploration mm -hmm. and uh, experimentation. Bakstrom knows the creative process teaches skills that can be used in any classroom. And the students, like rising fifth grader Rachel, are starting to see that too. It really makes you think about the texture, the color, mm -hmm. and that can really help you with like, being more specific in your writing. While the students work to complete their sculptures, they're not thinking about how these skills are going to help them in the future. But Bakstrom knows that they're learning skills that will help them in any environment. Determination, the drive to succeed. You keep doing it and doing it, and finally you come to a place where you're like, now I like it. And just that feeling, like learning that if I try, you know, three more times, it might actually, you know, work out. Where? Oh, I like it. It's what? It. I like it. kind of part of your sculpture. It's also applicable to life, you know, that you can't just give up the first time something doesn't work.